Okay, I'm gonna actually show you um, once you downloaded this XP file, how to um, unzip it and so on. So once you downloaded the file, the file is in the description. You're gonna open it up, and you're gonna read the instructions. Okay, so there you go. All of those the instructions. Okay, once you've read all of that, you can then go ahead and double click on this dot iso windows xp you double click on that and then you click burn okay so i'm going to take you over to my phone now just to show you how to put a disk in a drive okay so here now i've got a blank disk blank disk okay and now i'm going to put pop it into the drive so now i'm going to open it I'm going to pop in your drive, try not to get your fingers on it, and shut it back up. Okay, I'll cont now continue on my computer. Okay, so now once you've uh, popped that disk into the drive, you're going to double click on this Windows XP Professional disk image, or dot .iso, double click on it, and then click burn. I've already finished this, so yeah, if you do that now, it'll save you a lot of time, okay? Okay, so this is now, oh, wrong one, wrong one, okay, so this is now my Windows XP ISO or operating system, and that's all you've got to do now, is pop this into the drive, okay, I, you can't see that, but um, it's two different colours in you, so you can see that I've got XP on it. So now it's going to load up and I'll continue on my PC. Okay, so now the XP disk is now loading up. See? Okay, so you're going to click run setup.exe. Click yes to this. And then all you're going to do is click install Windows XP. But note, you cannot downgrade from Windows 7 to Windows Vista, otherwise you get this message coming up. You get this message. This program is blocked through the compatibility issues. Okay? So I cannot now install Windows XP because I've got Windows 7. So whatever you do, uh, don't try to... Um, install Windows XP or downgrade from the operating system because I'm telling you now it won't work so the only way I can think of is by um, making this disk a bootable disk and booting it from CMD when you start your computer up and install it that way but then you can't back up your files so back up your files before that and if any errors go on whilst in the setup you cannot hold me responsible. So yeah. So once you've uh, installed the disk, what you're gonna do now is um, open the Windows XP serials. You'll probably want to make a backup of these and put these on uh, USB, so then you'll still have these through the process of deleting all the other files. So yeah, as it says here, I'd recommend the first one due to it having more of a success rate. So that this one here, the top one, I'd recommend that. The other two hasn't got a much more of a success rate, but they still work. So yeah, and um, if it still doesn't work after this, all you're gonna need is remove what. Okay, I haven't added this in here because I know for a fact these serials do work. So yeah, and um, if they need any more help, as I said. It'll be all included in this one file, in this Windows XP file on my desktop, not my documents. It'll all be included in the instructions. Okay? So, yeah. You can contact me via any one of these. So, yeah. Comment, rate, and subscribe. If you don't get anything, just message me on uh, YouTube or wherever. And, yeah, we'll go from there.